fascinating praying mantis facts. The praying mantis is an insect that has fascinated humans for centuries. The praying mantis, officially called the European mantis, Mantis religiosa, is one of over 2,400 types of mantis. Named for their prominent front legs that fold together in a gesture suggesting devotion, the praying mantis comes off as serene and soulful. From extreme camouflage to sexual cannibalism, these pious-looking carnivores are as exquisite as they are fearsome. In fact, praying mantises are ambush predators with lightning-fast moves and many other extreme skills. They wait in silence for their prey to get close, then lash out and catch them with their strong front arms. Learn more about these mysterious insects with these nine fascinating facts about praying mantis. So make sure to watch until the end. Number nine. Praying mantises live in the tropics. Of approximately 2,400 species of mantids described to date, almost all are tropical creatures. Just 18 native species are known from the entire North American continent. About 80% of all members of the order Mantodia belong to a single family, the Mantidae. Number 8. Mantises have great vision. Praying mantises possess stereo vision, and thanks to the placement of their eyes, they also have a wide field of vision. Each of their eyes has a fovea, a concentrated area of photoreceptor cells that lets them focus and track with acuity. Number 7. Mantises can turn their heads a full 180 degrees. Try to sneak up on a praying mantis, and you may be startled when it looks over its shoulder at you. No other insect can do so. Praying mantids have a flexible joint between the head and prothorax that enables them to swivel their heads. This ability, along with their rather humanoid faces and long, grasping forelegs, endears them to even the most entomophobic people among us. Number 6. Mantises have two eyes, but only one ear. A praying mantis has two large, compound eyes that work together to help it decipher visual cues. But strangely, the praying mantis has just a single ear, located on the underside of its belly, just forward of its hind legs. This means the mantid cannot discriminate the direction of a sound, nor its frequency. Number 5. Mantises are masters of disguise. Praying mantises are supremely gifted in camouflage. Some species have distinct body shapes that make the insects look like branches, flowers, or leaves and like many insects, but also take it a bit further. Some mantises molt at the end of a dry season to become black, conveniently timing their transformation to coincide with the blackened landscape left by brush fires. Number 4. Mantis use specialized front legs to capture prey. The praying mantis is so named because when waiting for prey, it holds its front legs in an upright position as if they are folded in prayer. Don't be fooled by its angelic pose, however, because the mantis is a deadly predator. Praying mantises wait to ambush or patiently stalk their prey, but once they're ready to strike, they do so with lightning speed, attacking with those big front legs so quickly it's hard to see with the naked eye. Their front legs can reach out and grab prey in as little as 50 milliseconds. Number 3. A praying mantis bite is not poisonous. 
This insect has no known venomous species and is typically uninterested in humans. Instead, praying mantis uses the spikes on its forelegs to protect itself. Also, it does not have any stingers. Number 2. Mantises are solitary and cannibalistic. The adult female praying mantis has a reputation for eating its mate after or during mating. Yes, it's true, female praying mantids do cannibalize their partners. In some instances, she'll even behead the poor chap before they've consummated their relationship. Females are larger at 7 to 9 centimeters, while males are only 6 to 7 centimeters. Females also live longer. Researchers found that females that cannibalize their male partner produced significantly more eggs than those that did not, suggesting that their cannibalistic behavior may increase the chance of reproductive success. Number 1. The praying mantis life cycle has three stages. These stages are the egg, nymph, and adult. Praying mantis cocoons grow bigger during molting into the exoskeleton. The molting stage can repeat 5 to 10 times before reaching the adult stage, depending on the species. After the final molt, the wings on most species appear, while some remain wingless. As with many of nature's predators, hunters often become the hunted. The mantis' natural enemies include birds, bats, spiders, snakes, and lizards. With so many enemies to worry about, perhaps praying mantis actually are saying their prayers. That's all for today. Do you like what you see so far in Theraplanet? Please share your experiences in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, share with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.